profile do you mention you lived in various places yes. and you've embraced several different cultures and also religious or philosophical backgrounds in the different um, countries you're in. Um, how has that shaped your vision of humanity? I think although I must admit, I just feel very sorry for my parents having to schlep us from one country to another. Um, and, you know, as a child, a nine year old, 10, 12, 13 year old, mm -hmm. young, young man, young boy, we didn't feel anything. We had a lot of love and infrastructure for my parents. So, but it was hard to leave a country and leave your friends that you've grown up with for two or three years and then go to some, uh, to some other place and make new friends and especially go to another country. But looking back mm -hmm. at my life right now, and although there were wars, I would not change it. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it has somehow given me an insight to how the other world lives, or mm -hmm. how uh, poverty, what poverty is all about, or to be a refugee. Uh, we were lucky that we were not quite refugees, but we were in the same category as mm -hmm. refugees being schlepping here and there. So I think for me, I like to think of what I'm answering to a person, what I'm seeing in a person. I must measure my words, what my answer is going to be, because I don't want to hurt you mm -hmm. in a way, in being in an, in an offensive way. I would like it to make sure that I leave you. The mm -hmm. important thing I've learned is that I must leave you with a good feeling mm -hmm. about myself, first of all, and about what your question is. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't agree with you, I, we can agree to disagree, mm -hmm. and I think that worldliness has taught me that, and mm -hmm. I'm very, very appreciative to that. Mm, that's great. We're going to take a moment for an offering, and when we return, Pierre will share more about how he got his dancing shoes, and 